In this uh, explicit dynamics tutorial, we are going to use structural steel and another explicit material. So please click on this and in this tutorial I use aluminum. If you want, you can change the properties um, by the table given below. Now we're done and we move to the geometry. Here is our space claim and I try to draw the wall first so I use a rectangle tool I change my view to front and I draw on the XY plane uh, The wall is very tiny, it has the size of 100 by 100 millimeters And I move the wall to the root of the coordinate by using moving and then drag it by the direction I want. So 50 millimeter to the left and 50 millimeter down. Now I'm back to the 3D view and try to pull it back to have the thickness of one millimeter. So it's very easy for our pull it to go through. Now to draw the bullet, I have to use the supply tool and draw on the XZ plane and therefore I have to change my view to the right view. However, the bullet is too small so I have to change the unit. I choose the space claim option and click on the unit and change the minor grid to 0.1 mm so it is better for me to draw the bullet because it's symmetric so I can draw the boundary first and then I reborn it so I go one by one Please use more points to have a better shape of your bullet. And please ensure that there is no contact, no overlap between the worn and the bullet. Now, I can make a reasons for the cross sections of the bullet. And I have to make it in a new component. Otherwise, the bullet and the wall will be joined into one solid. So I rename it at the wall and move all the curves into the bullet. After making the cross sections of the symmetry, I can reborn it by click on pull and select reborn. And then I choose axis to reborn it. Just spin it and enter. So now I have drawn my own and my bullet. I can close the space claim and move to the model. As you can see, the default mesh is a bit coarse, so therefore I can change the size to about 0.001 meter. That means one millimeter, and I update the mesh. It's very tiny now. 
and I have to change the material for the one to be the aluminum so I click on the material assignment and change it to AL in the next step I have to insert the initial velocity so I select the bullet and then assign a velocity of 500 meter per second against the Z axis and in analysis testing I also have to select the time for simulations because the bullet is very fast so I select only 0 0.1 millisecond it is faster than the sound speed and now I have to generate some fixed support to keep my own in the place and that is for the setup I can click on solution and add the total solution deformation the strain and the stretch and I click on solve the explicit uh, dynamics is a bit time consuming so as you can see here uh, the pr progress is so slow so I will be back in a few minutes okay so everything is done now here is our result and please have a look how the bullet go through the world here's is a Z view here is a side view and here is a top view thank you very much and see you next time